You're making a steam train and you need carriages. I've got seven different designs for you. In this video, we're going to make a first class sleeping car. Let's get on with it. To build your first class sleeping car, you will need the following. For the undercarriage, 26 grey or brown terracotta, four pistons, four levers, 32 nether brick stairs, eight dark oak fence, 16 hoppers, 20 dark oak slabs, three grindstones, two spruce slabs, 66 dark oak planks and 44 dark oak stairs. For the body of the car, you will need 48 birch trap doors, four birch doors, 62 dark oak trap doors, 50 spruce trap doors, and for the roof, 44 smooth sandstone stairs and 132 smooth sandstone slabs. For the interior of the car, three chests, one brewing stand, 13 barrels, seven beds of the color of your choice, seven pieces of carpet to match the beds, 129 dark oak trap doors, nine dark oak doors, one hopper, one smooth quartz stair, one stone or iron pressure plate, one tripwire hook and 16 lanterns. And make sure you've also got a couple of waste blocks. Let's begin. If you're joining this onto another carriage, make sure that you leave a one block gap between your grindstone and where you start your car. So place a waste block on your track and on top of that place a terracotta block. Get rid of the waste block. Next to that one, two, and come round to the back and from the middle place 20 terracotta blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now at the end place 1, 2, 3. Now we're going to make the buffers. These were designed by Crafty Fox. I've got a link in my description to his channel. So at either end, pistons on their sides. Now you're going to place levers either at the ends next to the pistons or underneath. Does the same thing, pops the pistons open. Just make sure that whatever you do, you do the same on both sides. Do the same at the other end of your undercarriage. Now we're going to add the coupling links. I like to use grindstones. One at the front and two at the back. You'll have to shift click to place the second one. Wheels next. Come to one end with the buffers, leave a one block gap and on the next one on the terracotta a right way up nether brick stair and an upside down one under it. Come round to the back and upside down right way up. Yes it's a cross shape, pretend it's a circle, pretend it's a wheel. Leave a one block gap and make another wheel. Now between this wheel and the buffers, two dark oak fence, a top half dark oak slab between the two wheels and on each of these right way upstairs, a hopper going into the stairs. That's your bogey. Repeat that and this at the other end. And now between each of these, you're gonna place eight top half dark oak slabs. That's it, repeat all this on the other side. The undercarriage is almost done. Starting at one end, doesn't matter which one, on top of the terracotta, one, two, three dark oak planks. And now extend those planks all the way down to the other end. And now on the sides, upside down dark oak stairs. And that's the undercarriage done. Now to work at the ends, doesn't matter which end you pick, they're both the same. Next to this stair and above the piston extension, place a waste block, do the same on the other side. And next to each of those, a dark oak trap door. They'll place folded up, it's just because of the lever. In between them, a top half spruce slab. Now on top of the waste block and the dark oak trap door, spruce trap doors. And on top of the spruce trap doors, one, two rows of dark oak trap doors. Come to what will be the inside of your carriage. And on the top half of the spruce slab, place a birch door. Come back around to the outside. Place a waste block on top of your birch door. 
and then a dark oak trapdoor on it and on top of the trapdoors either side. Remove the waste block and place a birch trapdoor underneath so that when you fold it down the handle is directly above the door. Fold up all your trapdoors to form the wall and get rid of your waste blocks. One wall end. Do the same at the other end of the carriage. Now for the inside of the carriage. We're going to work from the front end and we're going to start on the non-platform side. So in this corner here, we're going to count one, two across and facing towards the back of the carriage, we're going to place one, two, three dark oak trap doors and on top of that, we're going to put two more rows. Fold them up for a wall that is nine squares, three by three. Come round to the other side. Against this dark oak trap door at the bottom, place an upside down smooth quartz stair, put a stone or iron pressure plate on top. Leave a gap of one and put a hopper going down into the floor. Above it, shift click to place a tripwire hook on the trap door. This is our little bathroom because this is a first class sleeping carriage. Now standing between the toilet and the sink, we're going to place one, two, three dark oak trap doors and we're going to place two more rows on top and fold them up to make a wall identical to this one. Come round to here and leave a one block gap and repeat that again. We're going to repeat this six more times. Once we've got our last wall in place, come to this back wall and facing forwards, we're going to place one, two, three under our feet and two more on top of each of those. Fold them up for a wall and we should end up with a little compartment that is just short of one block wide. That's all our compartments, our toilet and the attendance compartment laid out. Now we're going to decorate each of the sleeping compartments. So on the left hand block, the full block, place a bed and next to it against the trap door a barrel and on top of the barrel a piece of carpet to match the bed and make sure that you shift click to place it. That's the decorations for the compartment finished. There are seven compartments. Repeat this for each of the remaining six. Now we come to the attendance compartment. Facing towards the front of the train, place two chests so that they join and then a third next to it. These were not only for keeping valuables for guests but also acted as an extra seat for the attendant. Along this wall, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six barrels. And here we're going to place a spruce slab at the top and on top of it a brewing stand, essentially for boiling hot water for the guests. We need to place one more trap door here, but it's easier to do when the outer walls are finished. That's our compartments all sorted, all the little sleeping areas and the area for the attendant and a bathroom because this is a first class carriage. Now that all the compartments are done, let's add walls and doors. Come to the bathroom in front of the sink. One, two, three dark oak trap doors. Leave a gap next to the barrel. One, two, three. Same for the next little sleeping compartment and for all the others. Three trap doors next to the chests. Three trap doors next to the barrels. Fold them all up for walls. Now come to the inside and place a dark oak door so that it opens out into the corridor with the hinge against this wall. Do the same on each of the sleeping compartments. When you come to the attendance compartment, place the door but so that the hinges are on the opposite side. 
So sleeping compartment opens out that way, attendance compartment opens that way. Come round to the corridor side of all the compartments, place a dark oak trapdoor on top of all the dark oak doors. And fold them up to complete the wall. That's our interiors almost finished. Let's work on the outside of the carriages. Working on the platform side of the carriage, come to the front end, leave a one block gap and place a birch door so that the hinges are to the left. Come to the other end of the carriage, leave a one block gap and place a birch door so the hinges are to the right. Now apart from where the doors are, place waste blocks right the way along the undercarriage. And on top of those blocks, spruce trap doors. Remove the waste blocks. Now starting at the front end again, two dark oak trap doors. Ignore the door, two dark oak trap doors. Leave a gap of two and place two dark oak trap doors. Leave another gap of two and place two more dark oak trap doors. Leave a gap of four this time, one, two, three, four, and you guessed it, two dark oak trap doors. Gap of two, two dark oak trap doors, gap of two, two dark oak trap doors, and two more at the end. Fill in all the gaps with birch trap doors. Fold them all up for walls and windows. Now on top of the birch doors, place a waste block and in front of it at the top, a birch trap door so that when you fold it down, the handle is directly above the door. Get rid of the waste block. And that's the platform side of the carriage done. Let's go round the back. Round this side, we're going to place waste blocks right the way along the length of the carriage. And we're going to put spruce trap doors on top of all of those. And then get rid of the waste blocks. Now starting at the front end again, on top of the spruce trap doors, one, two, three dark oak trap doors and a second row on top. Leave a gap of one and directly in front of each bed, two dark oak trap doors. Same in front of the chests, in front of the brewing stand and here at the end. Now fill all the gaps with birch trap doors. Once more, fold up for walls and windows. And that's the non-platform side of the carriage. The roof. Starting at either end, doesn't matter which. See these three trap doors? You're gonna put bottom half smooth sandstone slabs and then fill in all the way along to the other end with smooth sandstone slabs. You could place blocks here if you wanted, but the slabs are more economical. And this gap and this gap, we're going to fill with smooth sandstone stairs. Now to finish the roof, pick a stair, any stair, doesn't matter, put a waste block on top of it and next to it a smooth sandstone slab, two more next to it, get rid of the waste block and now fill all this in with smooth sandstone slabs, bottom half all the way to the end, which not only makes a nice curved roof but also spawn proofs the roof. That's the outside of the carriage done. All we've got to do now is light it and place one more spruce trap door. I like to use lanterns for lighting. Come into the front end of the carriage and in this end section, one, two lanterns in the corners, one between these two sets of double windows, one between these two sets of double windows and one in the corner there. We can't put one here because this is not a full block wide. Come up to the bathroom, place one lantern over the sink and in each sleeping compartment place one over the cabinet. When you come to the attendance compartment place one in the corner over the chest and against this wall we're going to place one spruce trap door. This is an extra little seat for the attendant should it be needed and it can fold up or down out of the way. And that's it, one first class sleeping car. This sleeping car is based on a Gresley design from the late 1920s but would be suitable for a wide range of eras. 
If you want more rolling stock tutorials, click on the card that's on the screen now.